plus they're basically a group of similar nodes that run command line, um, and they can post VMs and provide web services, but we need a little more tweaking. This is Carbonate and Research Desktop. Uh, that was, that's the ones that we'll be using most often. Um, then you have the cloud, which is basically, you can have a bunch of nodes that have different functions. They can use different sizes. They're not uh, uniform at all. And they also have user interfaces, and it's more, it's a great way to just get started on command line. This is Jetstream, Amazon Cloud, uh, Google Cloud, and so on. Virtual machines are virtual computers you can spin up on a cloud system. Um, they're also called instances in Jetstream. That's what we call them, so don't get confused. It's essentially the same thing. And then you have gateways and portals, which are specialized uh, websites that have a web front end where you can point and click and start your manual life. This is Cyber's Open Science Grid Galaxy. So if you want a user interface, at the end of this, you're still not convinced, you don't want to learn command line, you can use Galaxy for your bioinformatic analysis, or you can use Research Desktop, which is the front user interface to Carbon. So you can go in there and actually start learning. And you can also, of course, use uh, Jetstream Cloud. If you want lots of RAM, so your job requires something that requires more than 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, Carbonate cluster has up to 500, and we recommend you assembling over there. And then you have AC bridges, which is up to 12 terabytes. So if you ever run out of space on Carbonate, um, contact us, and we'll get you access to AC. Lots of processes, like your blast jobs, um, and tax and functional annotation. Okay, that's actually changed. That's Big Red 200 and Big Red 3. That will help you. Um, has GPUs too. And you can use a VG VM or Jetstream. The only difference is on this new cluster, you have a job scheduler on Jetstream. If you want specific software, check Galaxy. Um, check the high performance computing. If you run module AD, which is a command that lists out all the modules from its all system side, still not listed there, go ahead and contact us. Uh, we'll either install it on clusters or on Galaxy if you prefer to find it. And we have a Jetstream team as well. And so the goal, I think, this is a very nice point that I should always bring up on my slides. Is we're not forcing you to learn command line. Uh, neither is the high performance computing team. Nobody is. If you want to stick to this uh, user interface, that's absolutely okay. We're just trying to provide options, and that's what we're doing. So if you walk out of here saying, I still hate command line, nobody's going to be offended, I promise. Um, just let us know how we can 